a little camper. Oh, you bought a showing. camper? I bought a camper. Hello, guys. Camper? We are that. here. We are here in Ohio, and we are stuck behind this police public demonstration line. Mm -hmm. And we can't cross that line because we might be dangerous. We are. Do we look dangerous? I am dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a grandma. Very dangerous. <laughs> they, they took our, they took their information. Grandma fish nerds. So they have some information in there about goldfish care. Oh yeah, I did fish tube. What's up? Um, they have some information, but yeah, apparently we, we are dangerous and we can't go in. So crazy. Yeah, we're Water okay. Test kits. We're, so crazy. we're in our stress designated kit. area with yeah. our stress coat and our, and our Swedish, Swedish fish, fish and our fun pamphlets. Facts. Yeah, we got fun facts over here. We've got pamphlets and we've got Brooks County, right? Brooks Buck, Bucks. Bucks County. We've got Bucks County Aquarium Society here helping us out. They've supplied all this stuff because they're super awesome. So if you want to really do some good around Ohio, uh, they're like, what, an hour away? Who? You guys, how far no, away are you? Drove we drove eight hours. <laughs> eight hours? They drove 560 miles. miles. They drove 560 miles here. Nothing. Oh my God. Goodness. We you, love Can fish. we buy you Dairy Queen? It's around yes. the corner. Yes. <laughs> <It's> not, <laughs> we, okay, so we we're going to have to buy them Dairy food. Queen later. Because we did they a potty drove. break. That was oh it. Oh my gosh. Two Dedicated gas, women. Two gas breaks and a potty break. That was right. it. Yeah. Dedicated. Wow. Dedicated people. Me wow. and yeah. me and Rob. What's up? Rob93 <laughs> over here. What's up? <laughs> we drove two hours. That's nothing. And uh, and we have to get home. <laughs> yeah, they have to go home at some point. So we're yeah. probably only going to be here for like what? Another half an hour? What? Forty-five minutes? Then Dairy oh, Queen? Because it's two ten. I don't know. Yeah, I'm they just started. I'm down for a fish so, store tour. Yeah, Rob wants to go to a fish store tour. He's been looking for fish stores. I'm always looking for fish stores. Uh, these people with me, Bob, are from Bucks County Aquarium Society. Awesome. What? Where is it at? Eight hours away. Where is it at? Goodness. Uh, it's Churchville, Pennsylvania. Churchville, Pennsylvania. Wow. So if you're in Pennsylvania, near Which Churchville, far <laughs> eastern PA. Yep. Um. So how about who else here? Tiffany's here. Shishi's here. My mother is here. Hello. Yes, I'm not alone, mother, and I'm not going to jail. There are definitely a lot of police here because apparently some stupid idiot from PETA decided to make death threats. So, a lot of police, we're not going to be able to get in there at all because of it, because, you know, some crazy people ruin things for everybody. We're just trying to inform people of stuff. They're trying to be mean and shame them. That shouldn't be what your life is about, but whatever. Yeah. But yeah, it's definitely going down. There's definitely children with buckets in swim trunks heading towards the pool. Select pets here. He's about an hour away. That's all right. But There's a presence. We've the fish fam has made a presence. But this is an event that's been going on for 46 years. <laughs> They've been tossing fish in the pool for that long. So that's what 46,000 fish. 46,000 fish. They put a thousand fish in there today. And apparently I heard somebody talking about they called and they said they've never had one fish die. And then I've also seen reviews that said the fish don't last very long, but it's a good time. And I'm like, well, <laughs> duh. Someone, someone <laughs> so yeah, representing the fish fam here in Ohio, trying to make at least one person listen to some information. I had somebody already stopped and they read the sign. Did they oh, stop and read yeah. the sign? Someone did. Yeah. Someone yeah. did like a slow drive-by. And then a police officer waved at us. Awesome. Well, you know, a couple of the police officers yeah. have come over and talked to us. Yeah, they, they talked to us out front. Yeah, they didn't um, tear gas or anything. They're good. No, they didn't yeah, hurt us. Yeah, and yeah. when they stop and talk to us, they seem like everything's okay. Yeah. But they still sent us behind the barrier. <laughs> yeah, but, but we're still, they would not, we're still not allowed in. They're, they're worried yeah, that other protesters yeah, are good. showing up. Mm -hmm. And we tried to... Let them know the safety of yeah, safety of children is definitely paramount. We've got to acknowledge that a little bit. And that's why we are here, though. But that's why we're staying behind the yellow line. Do you see that? Oh my goodness! There is a police officer on the roof. <laughs> oh my goodness! Do you guys I see need that? My camera. Yo, we got Where's my camera? <laughs> that is so crazy. 
This is this is does insane. He, he, really this is a little bit insane. He has binoculars. He does. No way. Oh, he definitely has binoculars. He's that definitely so looking crazy. at something over there. That is so cool. Well, I got a picture of him. He's something, far away, but something has perked his interest oh, on the roof. Wow. If he draws, um, I'm hiding underneath Rob 93. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you gonna hide? You'll take a bullet for me. <laughs> small. Who's yeah, I'm smaller. Who? I'm smaller. <laughs> Oh my goodness. We are conducting I, ourselves it, well, go Mr. B. Both of us. <laughs> Dude, he definitely is like. This is he's, scary. He's got his you would binoculars. Think at this point, they would have just canceled it rather. Right? Than... Why cancel it? Why not cancel it and not put your kids through this? This is insane. Cause the. Can you imagine being like a parent? Yeah. Like, like, hey, um, are we at the airport or are we at the center? <laughs> this is not... There's going all the way over there. There's yeah. police on bikes going all around this place. There's a the cop right there. Just He's going so around that way. Man, There's on cops bikes. on bikes circling. I don't know if you can see that in the distance. Now, the parking lot is full. I wonder if this He's is like circling. the number of people who attend this. Mm -hmm. If you cancel it, PETA wins. Well, um... I mean, who really wins in that situation? The fish? I think the fish win if they cancel it. No, the fish are already in the water, pool. So they're not going to win no matter what. The best we can do is run interference. And or they put them in there, like, before the kids even show up? We don't up. know. We oh. never got in. We never got in. All we wanted to do... It's after two now. Really it's after two, so the fish are in there. Yeah. yeah. And when we got here, the parking lot was almost empty, but there were little ones in their little swim outfits, and they were all trickling in. Yeah. But wow. we had our three dollars in hand because if you're not a member of the pool, it costs three dollars to, to go get in. in. And they wouldn't let us in, even though we had our three dollars ready to go. We were immediately identified as protesters. Protesters. And we got our talking to, and wow. yeah. they really it. were quite friendly. They were. They were kind to us. That's good. They were. Kind At least they're to being us. nice, even That'd with their be binoculars. No problem. Now oh, they're looking at us. We're we're straight getting binoculars right now. Yeah, now we're getting. We there are binoculars directly on me at this current moment. Pam, did you give me a super chat? Oh my gosh, five dollar sure. super chat from Pam. Much respect for you going and trying to make a difference, Haley and Rob. Yeah, we're trying to make a difference right now. I'm trying not to make any sudden movements. All of us. <laughs> well, he's looking in another direction now. Oh, he moved yeah. on. He moved on. We're good. You, you didn't look as did Tiffany did White. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany wants to know if we if you talked to any parents and gave out information. So they these won't come over. Here. None of the parents have come here. Yeah, the no, have no one's gonna They're come too over. Too far here. away. They're not gonna come this far out. We're out on the side of the road. But we're behind the do not cross line. Yeah, we're behind the police line. We look crazy. We look like crazy people. We have. So and fish hats. Just the fish hats and it's fish? 80 degrees outside. They did get him to take some, like, 50 <laughs> pamphlets hats. in. Shirts. Yeah, Come we're on. all about the fish. Yeah. fish I wore my dragon shirt because it's hot and I have no um, AC in my car, so yeah, dragon was, shirt. Like, I wore my bathing suit just in case they'd let me get in. I don't know, maybe I can do something. We coordinated mm. our, like, costume for the event. We, there's a whole thing happening here. I and we got we, bike cops for days. Shirt, but it was hot. We planned this. We made, po like... Allie made post was the entire trip. We just want to tell the sun came up. We just want to tell people Before how to the not sun, hurt their fish. Pamphlets. Yes. I drove. I she folded. Oh my gosh. Then the sun came up. We got out the art supplies. Oh my people right here, way more dedicated than me. Look at them. <laughs> These girls <laughs> amazing. Amazing. I wonder if one of these cops will ride over Save here and get on, fish. get on my channel Save with me. Save the fish. See what they have to say. I want it on the roof. That guy's legit. I, think, I think he would snap my neck with his <laughs> He would his snap pinky. you. He looks like, like he could kill you in like six different dude ways. Is super legit. He's wearing like the Walter White hat. Dude, he can hunt somebody <laughs> down. Bro. That guy's good. Maybe when the kids come out. Who hired him? I'm hoping, but like they don't know we're not the PETA people. That's but, the problem. They're and they're going to go straight track. to their cars because I didn't see anyone walking. Yeah, nobody's going to come over here. No. The fact that you guys got those pamphlets in. That's it's probably the best thing. we've done that's that you're gonna get thing, done, yeah. cause they're not gonna. Nobody's gonna parade their kids over here to the crazy dragon chick and her friends with their decor. <laughs> right? We're friendly. 
We're lots of fun. My shoes we light up. <laughs> my shoes light up. Fish. We I brought candy Powerade. and my shoes light up. On our fake table. We Leslie wants to know exactly what is going on. Okay, so we're in Ohio, in Springdale, Ohio, and they're um, putting on a thing called a goldfish swim. So basically they're taking a thousand goldfish and throwing them in their pool to have little kids catch them with their hands and then they get to take home their new pet. No it nets allowed. Is cool? Like, it's not. No. no. It's, not, it's not really cool. The, the poor thing is in the chlorinated water. They could be green if they were like pink and they, fish. And yeah. they could be rubber duckies. Sick. Let's do it next they, year with right. rubber duckies. Ping pong balls. Yeah. Sinking yeah. stick the rubber boats. You can catch. The boat, those little boats that they have. Anything yeah. that's, not that's not alive and yeah. needs to be living in Alternate. that water. Yeah, live animals are not for You're welcome, Joseph. And they yeah, be yeah, and maybe them. allow nets. Have y'all yeah, ever tried to sit. catch a fish out of your 20-gallon tank with your hands? I mean, it's not easy. So imagine a pool with a bunch of comet goldfish. They're comet, common goldfish. Right? Just, well, like we don't know. Pictures, we haven't probably. seen them, but the as far as I, yeah, I've though. seen comets is what I've seen. Yeah. Yeah. There was a lot of, um, a lot of talk about, what was I about to say? A lot of talk about, uh, getting it canceled with, a um, like a signature thing online. I signed it. There was like a whole petition. Um, that didn't work. They're, they're on it. So. Yeah, it was a change.org. We decided best we were gonna do is hand out information and be peaceful, and that's what we're doing. And then Peter got a hold of it. How take care of that goldfish that you? Right, that new comet goldfish oh, that you just got. Oh, they're coming back out. They're leaving. Oh, they're leaving. They are leaving. The event must be coming to a close. Oh, no. I'm well, seeing people let's leaving. Let's get pictures of the kids coming out. That seems like a bad idea. Yeah. There's balloons. Yeah, I'm trying to like not oh, get people's children on. Hi. Uh, man's staring at you, so. Yeah, binocular okay. man's looking at you. Maybe keep driving. Hi. I can't hear you. What? Oh, okay. Do you want a brochure? Did you catch goldfish? Huh? Do you have goldfish? Oh, well, that's a good idea. Pond is a you great wanna, idea. You want a brochure and some information? Yeah. See, we're doing good things. People are getting information. This lady is going to get some goldfish, goldfish for her pond. Well taken care of. <laughs> and we are informing them of how to take care of them. I think she even gave her some test strips. Oh, yeah, thank you. That's awesome. See, we're doing good stuff. And the police are letting us do it. So... Nobody seems too upset about this. Bob Kaler, was that a super chat from you? I see you. What, what? Oh, yeah. Backwards hat. I don't have my backwards hat. You got a hat backwards? See? There you she go. No way. Got it. I got, I brought one. Ah, there's an mm. ant on me. An ant? It's a big one. It was a juicy one. Yeah, we're sitting on the ground. I got my coffee. I got my Powerade. I got these fine ladies from Pennsylvania informing the people of how to take care of their fish Boom. that they're getting. Which means at least we've reached one person. Mm -hmm. Check it out, guys. See, that's what I was talking about in Joseph's stream. One person. If we can get one person to take better care of their fish, we did a good job, right? Mm -hmm. Right? That's awesome. How's my uh, stream quality here? Sound check. Nice bottle of stress coat helping her out. See? And then she's going to go tell her friends that we're nice, and then maybe her friends will come talk to us. And then we'll be able to educate the masses. She needs, she needs to put the bug in there. Which bug? The, the ant? That we're good. No, not that bug. Oh, the bug. Yeah, go tell everyone. <laughs> go tell them we're good, and we can come in. We just want to observe. That's it. I love it. I love having the president of an aquarium club here. This worked out perfectly. We were a little, a little freaked out when we first got here that maybe we were just gonna go straight to jail. Yeah, but, that's what we thought. but we're not gonna go to jail. We but got backup. 
Doberman Pinscher. I think there are German Shepherds. I, yeah, I, well, we do got a sniper on the roof. So. There's a sniper on the roof, but we're going to be okay, guys. Yeah, this is going, going down. Um, am I lagging or doing anything weird? I don't know how the signal is doing here, so can I get a sound check and a... And a we got police on bikes. We got a cowboy police at the front door. 21 Jump Street. It's like 21 Jump Street around here. <laughs> <laughs> Signal's good? Awesome. Nice. Let me know if something, anything goes wrong. Because we're in the middle of nowhere, Ohio. <clears throat> I think alternatives for future events have been suggested, and I think after this presence around their children, maybe they'll rethink the situation, because, you know, PETA's definitely got them going. So that lady's getting some fish. Yeah, she's getting some fish. For her pond. And... Which is a good place for fish. Now she has a pamphlet, now she has a chlorinator and test strips, and she's good to go. She should have gone back in there and told them all how nice we are. Yeah. Well, she knows somebody who works here. Oh, yeah. So hopefully word would spread that, yes, that we we're not crazy. the bad ones, that we were the good ones. What is PETA doing? Um, Joseph, PETA ain't one. here. It's just us. They gave us all this room for protest area, and it's just us four chilling on the grass. PETA oh, didn't show up. Yeah, buddy. PETA didn't show up. Well, and they're making sure that Peter didn't show up, let me tell you, because this place is <laughs> yeah. on lockdown. Yeah, it's it's pretty bad. You come in here wearing a Peter shirt, and you ain't getting within a mile of this place. I guarantee Might it. Might get tackled. They got police line all the way out to there. Yeah, it's pretty far. <laughs> this is like the whole block, is it not? Like, yeah, yeah, Peter called in death threats and didn't show up. That's exactly what they did. We would have loved to have been set up, even by the doors there. Right, right there by the doors would have been perfect. Or at least on the sidewalk right there. That's absolutely what they think. That's yeah. probably, yeah. Uh, Violence. Yeah. yeah. Not gonna Violence work. will make them stop. Yeah. Not gonna work. There must be some other event stuff going on here, because people keep going in there with all kinds of carts of stuff. No, I think that's probably, like, refreshments, and, and party, they're probably doing, stuff. like, prizes yeah. and games in there. Oh, too. yeah. Isn't is this is the Parks and Rec Department that's doing this? Yeah, so it's a collective of So they they're probably doing. are mm -hmm. doing a big deal in there. This is a Parks and Recreation Center, so it's not a uh, place of business. Where's Larry D at? It is a public... Yeah, it's a community it's center. It's a community center, so it belongs to the town of Springdale. So they're having their... it's like a little festival-y kind of party in there, probably. So technically we're allowed in there, but technically they ain't let us in there. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, how are you? The situation is going. We're trying to educate some people. But no, they're not. Kinda. They took our pamphlets. Yeah, fifty-fifty. Took our pamphlets. Is he in there? Oh yeah. What's your name? I'm Sue. Sue Meyer. Hi, I'm Haley. We're live on YouTube right now. Say hi. <laughs> we have more people that have joined us that have uh, signed the petition online. That's awesome. Good. While you've been sitting here? Oh, no, 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 you. She's no, you. I was you. talking about you. <laughs> you. I'm shouting you out, girl. <laughs> so what's the deal? Are they, is this a typical yeah, situation? This is well, as far as we're allowed. Yeah, they wouldn't let us any further. They put us behind the public demonstration designated because area. Because technically oh, we are protesters. But, but we're not... We're not really protesting, we're here to help. Right. right. All and of I, us have signed the petition right. and we all It's not gonna get cancelled. We're, we're very aware. Well, we're right. just, this year's not gonna get canceled. We just need to educate so some people. We're hoping that maybe next year doesn't happen with live fish. Right. We exactly. think rubber duckies would be great. Yeah. Some other floating pool Ping toy pong would ball. be awesome. I like exactly. And what I think is in the Springdale businesses could uh, like, you know, whatever they collect, the kids could turn it in and get a gift certificate for mm -hmm. a local business. Right. Or, right. You know, support make a the local pop, business. support the local business. So that would be genius. By, let's let's make it a win win for everybody. But we figured as long as it was gonna continue, we would like to help out the fish that are Right. You're going to go home. <laughs> so we have water testing supplies here. We have care information. These ladies came from Pennsylvania. Did you? Very the prepared. Oh, yeah. yeah. Cool. Um, we, we care about the fish. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, I, and the kids, too. Well, we want them to have I, a good experience. Yeah, because it's like to wake up the next morning and have a dead fish tank. It's just right. What's the point? I mean, what's their mission is what I don't understand. 
Well, it's entertainment. I think yeah, they've I, taken the carnival thing too yeah, far. I think they just see it. It it is probably fun, but fish aren't just entertainment. It, but, but it yeah. costs them money, right, to get all the fish and to organize. This. Apparently, the, somebody the raises money? them for the for the town. Yeah. Which is how they're able to do it. They raise them as bait fish. Otherwise, this would technically be considered abuse. Yeah, they have a loophole for bait fish. There's a loophole right. because they're bait fish. Right. But, I mean, I, I, I definitely the fish suffer. Uh, but, and I also, but I think that the kids are not learning compassion and learning, you know. Right, and they're not they're learning right, proper fish care. I mean, like, what, what are you teaching these kids about what you can do with something that's alive? Right, right. I think, I think you just have to. People have to see that it's bigger than just these breeder mm -hmm. fish that they think are disposable. Right. I don't believe that they are, but other people do. So to get in their head, it's about, okay, it's bigger than that. It's about raising compassionate human beings. Human beings. Yeah. That are right? going to have to take care of you when you're old. Yeah. <laughs> so hopefully they don't throw you away. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's I'm so done with you. <laughs> Like, you don't have any value, so therefore I'm not going to take I don't think so. I don't think so, Fish Tropic. Uh-oh. <laughs> They're starting up in the chat. Select pet. Nationally, fish aren't considered animals and not subject to cruelty, which I think is a good thing. I'd have fish die at my house by my fault before. Yeah, but... How are they not considered animals? Something... There's, there's a... There's something... Joseph knows. Joseph did a bunch of research on this. There's an act that basically puts fish under the what's the act Cultural. they're multicellular heterotrophs good words they're an animal that lady got knowledge <laughs> they're an animal yeah they're, what is the thing joseph that made it so that fish were actually covered by the animal cruelty act there was some it's because they're under agriculture i think the goldfish because they're bait fish they're because they're bait fish they fall under like livestock uh, agriculture yeah. rules things like that yeah hmm. Our man's still over there? Okay, good. Yeah, we're good. Goddard's Law. Thank you, Joseph. The Goddard's Law, which yeah, yeah. is what makes fish a part of that. And they 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 found the loophole, which was that these are bait fish. That they raise themselves, that they can do whatever they want with. Doesn't make it right. I think People vs. Garcia was the court case that actually made it for goldfish. Because then somebody's husband stomp on their pet fish or something like that Ooh. stomped it something like that yeah i would have a heart attack you aren't allowed to punchy says but you aren't allowed to torture livestock that's right you're not allowed to torture livestock but you're allowed to kill it hmm that's not any different it's no yeah it's different you don't die from torture all the time i mean <laughs> All the time. <laughs> <laughs> Not every time. <laughs> There's always that one time. Makes me want to hug my fish. I won't, but still. Yeah, Jess. Can. No, don't, don't, don't hug them. We're, We're trying to. About the same thing yeah, just feed, just That's feed the your whole fish. thing we're trying yeah. to teach people nice. not to do. Them. Just feed them and water God, change. Jess. Water Way to derail the whole live stream. Yeah. <laughs> Jess is over here hugging her fish. I'm trying to <laughs> preach, don't touch your fish. My goodness. Fish Tropic can't believe they're leaving us out here. I know, I'm fun, right? Let me go in there and talk to some kids. I'm good with kids. I have a kid. I look like a clown. <laughs> they're videotaping us, too. Do you know how well attended it is? I saw a good, what, 30 kids? Yeah, there, there wasn't a huge number. It's not a lot of people. There and ain't we a thousand. Early. We were here a little, like a few minutes after one. Okay. There definitely ain't a thousand kids. Per kid, yeah. How many? My guess is they're allowed multiples. Yeah. yeah, I think they're allowed as many as they catch. Is noodling legal here? I bet it is. Well, I guess that's what they're technically doing. They're noodling. They're them with their hands. That's yeah, noodling. That's true. I mean. Except they ain't hiding in a hole. It's going to be a little more difficult. <laughs> Fish Tropic says, make sure you thumbnail the cop on the building. <laughs> Dude, that is epic. Oh, you Lord, you guys, there? what are we doing? Oh, my goodness. I did get him up there. I got him. You gotta I'm sure a, they're, you gotta do a crop. they're all gone. You got to do a crop thumbnail. Yeah, they're, they took their positions. 
Are they over there trying to Warren get my just drove by with the <laughs> camera on. They're videotaping us. Well, oh, they're videotaping us too? Awesome. Are they really? Yeah, that awesome. cop that was just drove by us was videotaping. <laughs> We're being videotaped by the police now. This Maybe is, people didn't show up. Is for this? For this. Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, well it's for PETA. PETA. We're not with PETA. And oh, PETA yeah, apparently... Oh, my gosh, there's the dog. Oh, no. We found a dog. Oh, no. So, what's the... I'm sorry, what's the situation? PETA apparently called in some death threats. That's stupid. Correct. <laughs> so, now we've all been designated <laughs> behind the line. Okay. Can I take pictures? And I would assume so. We sure. haven't been told not to. Oh uh, yeah, you can take pictures of our signs. I'm on a watch list. What does that even mean? Because you're awesome. The you're press are not because here. People watch your show. Um, wow. Hopefully, He's more people subscribe because of it. Great, thanks, Joseph. <laughs> Send me a copy of the list. Great. What have you? Ugh, whatever. <laughs> oh, those people aren't being allowed to park at their house because of the police presence. Who's suspicious? They're probably suspicious of me because I'm live on the internet. <laughs> I'm probably not making any friends. Not at all. Eh. Yeah. Kelly eh. was making this as I was driving. Government watch list. I have a star on my license. They know I'm not anything bad. Are we on American Most Wanted? Yeah. No way. Are you from the area? Yeah. Nice. It done. It done went down. <laughs> oh, okay. PETA is very radicalized, but we're not with PETA. Not at all. We are no as not associated okay. with them. Yeah, negative. Is who mad at us? No, that lady over there. No, she's cool. She's just trying to go home, and the cops wouldn't let her park where she wants to park. Think about what they do next year. It's like I know we called the. Yeah, yeah, their dog ran out in the street and everything. We petted it. Well, she petted it. I sat here and talked to you guys. Hey, we got a hug. Someone talking. Oh, um, did they have a, a bucket and a yeah, finger? They have probably. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, they didn't like us. Well, you know, what, no one can complain. Um, well, we're too far away. Like, I get it. You're not disrupting them. Oh, yeah, yeah, we wouldn't disrupt them even if we were by the front door. Like, I don't care. Yeah, that's not we're really what we're to, about. Yeah, we're, just <laughs> to, we're just trying to get Please, the message no out. Motive. Right, yeah. just yeah. understand yeah, yeah, yeah. ammonia and chlorine and the like, nitrogen cycle. And, and not have your kids You've traumatized from waking up. And We're just nerds. We're not <laughs> super, super uber nerds. Thanks. I really appreciate it. <laughs> oh, I did not. Fish not having fun. And hopefully they do have fish. Really all they have to do is be like, oh, okay, you're cool. Right? And be fun. really protesting. We're trying to help people understand. Goldfish care information. How to take care of aquarium water. And... That kind of thing. You got a bug in there? <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. Um, so we're we're no. really all into all in sorts of different fish. It's Bunch of fish you nerds. You are <laughs> handing out goldfish. Yeah. But all so, fish have the same requirements as far as ammonia the nitrogen cycle yeah. and that's what we're here basically and to educate people from, from the fish the fish when they eat when they eat food mm -hmm. yeah in their way just like you produce ammonia like when you eat food and go the bathroom waste. the fish do that in their water yeah right and when they do that, like they live in their water, so they're living in their waste. So and if you don't, don't change their water, they're living in their waste. And that's why fish die so quickly after you 
get them if you don't understand it. And we're hoping that a lot of pet shops are set in their ways. One thing we'd really like pet shops to do is quarantine their fish so that they know they're not sick when they're getting them in from a train shipper. And there's actually a lot of pet stores that do that now. There are quite a few that do. It's just better fish practice as we learn things and grow. YouTube and yep. she makes video showed us. We were worried that people who don't have the information get fish and then don't know how to take care of their fish and then the fish die quickly. And we wanted to make sure because it doesn't seem like a good idea to us for people to get fish and not have information. We wanted to make sure that people who get fish know how to take care of those fish because like goldfish can live as long as a dog or a cat. Those goldfish could live for 15 years easily if they're taken care of well. And we don't want them to go home and just die. Like gold, like you hear things about goldfish like they not live. remembering things for two seconds. But that's not true. Like goldfish, yeah, yeah, goldfish are pretty smart. a lot smarter than people think. Goldfish have feelings too. Goldfish should really be treated with a lot more respect than people give them. And we want to make sure that these goldfish are cared for. Well, and that's why we want to we don't give think them information they are. so that they know how to take care of them. So we have pamphlets, and they did take our pamphlets inside. They took some of them. But we also have water testing kits here so that they can test their water. And we wanted to show them how to test the water so that they can learn how to do this. It's like we only have information here to try to help them. It's like... Actually, no, yeah. people is here to inform and to, um, and it really is. I, I've already been educated on it, and um, it's not a problem. You're supporting um, longevity, and you're supporting, um, you know, proper care. And so that's not negative. It's not something. I think the reason... I think this happened because PETA actually got themselves involved somehow yeah, that, and they called in a death threat. Absolutely. We, uh, yeah, we are not a big fan of what they did either on social media as far as creating something that made people scared. Yeah. Right. That's not really going to help anybody. Yeah. But we just came here with. We just came to try and help, help educate. And we got put out here on the street. Like and we, we got kind of lumped in with this. <laughs> so. I mean, did you know that you weren't going to be able to. We didn't know. What we were no, we didn't know what we were. No, Coming we drove into hours and we got put out on the street here. Yep. Well, if people are interested, they will. They will consult like I am. Absolutely. Yeah. That's what we're hoping for. Thank you for coming for. over to find out what we were about. I had no idea. Well, my kids are older, so they're not a part of this program. But they were very interested in this program. Right. If they're not doing anything to educate them about that pet that they're sending them home with. Mm-hmm. Not even just the goldfish, not just the goldfish, just the, the kid themselves, because if they're grabbing a fish that they don't know is sick or this is thousands of goldfish that no one knows they're coming from. They could be sick. Someone doesn't know. You can that. get sick you can from, get sick from fish and handling them like that, and not so, washing yeah. your hands. That's why we quarantine our fish in our fish rooms. I have over. 
They're, they they're are catching there. them with their they're hands. They're catching them with their hands. But they're catching them while they're in the pool. That doesn't matter. The, the, the yeah. illness that's on the fish.